Fred, have you seen Norville? I need him to help me investigate. No, but I have found a way to make you like me. Check it out. And as if this isn't enough, I will also win your heart by proving I am a helpful ally, sister. Look, I'm glad reading The Feminine Mystique caused a little growth. Shush, a feminist is speaking. Dr. Edna Perdue was a female neurologist. You don't need to say female, Velma. You can just say neurologist. <laughs> can help me not hallucinate by making me laugh. Velma, give me the chance and I can help you with anything. Except filling in your ethnicity on a form. I'm guessing Samoan? I actually heard Meatball was really cool and beautiful. Shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah. Drink. Fa la la la. Drink. Fa la la la. Fa la la la. Shimmy, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah. Drink. Fa la la la. I would, but all I can think of right now is the gender pay gap. Is it funny? Women make 20% less than men, and women of color even less? <laughs> I can't stop laughing. I can't take it to the grave. Uh, does anyone have a defibrillator? I literally just died without him. Almost died. Fred, you're not allowed in here. I know, I know, I'm not in band. Thank God. I'd rather kiss a toilet. Um... I forgot to order pizzas. On it. Your friends will remember this as the best marching band sleepover ever. Move it, loser! <laughs> Hate to do this, but I am trying to impress a very smart, very stout young woman. So when I say quadruple meat, I mean quadruple meat. Make them again! And untie those garlic knots. She likes breadsticks. Oh my god, Velma, I did it! For the first time in my life, I didn't bungle a task so badly it needs to be covered up by an Israeli security firm. but only got halfway there. That's just me living up to my label as a male feminist. Fred, you're a genius. Yes! I finally helped you! So are you into me now or what? No. Oh God, what are we gonna do? I can't go back to jail. I still owe my cellmate notes on his screenplay. Velma, you could go to jail. Wait, I changed my mind. Now I changed it back, go quick. Absolutely not, Frederick. Unless this is your selection for our hunt. No, father, I like her now. Have you heard of inner beauty? That's a myth, you fool! <laughs> no, he helped my dad buy Chestney's contract from the strip club so we could date and get my head sorted out. Isn't that right, babe? <laughs> Anything but kiss. Why are you running? Why are you You jump through all of daddy's hoops, maybe one day he'll love you. Please, as if my father has the time to make me jump through hoops. Hey! Hairy girl not wrong. Only way to earn father's respect is take a stand. You want I help kill him? Yeah, let's do it. Hmm? Woohoo! I'm rich! Now daddy will love me! Oh. Wow, I never knew how big it was down here in the bad boy room. I just hang by the door ever since the rats ate that butler. <sighs> oh, maybe it's one of those doors where you push in a brick and it opens. Fred, wait! I'm fine. My hallucinations are finally over! Are, are you sure? Because I feel like you've said that before, like a few times. Jinkies! Okay, now you're totally trying to make it a thing. Oh, ow! What the hell, Fred? Go to Fogfest with me, please. Stop throwing money at my face. <gasps> Excuse me? Uh, yes! But Daphne! You guys, I'm Fred Jones. Vote for me for Fog King or I will make it my life's work to destroy you. <laughs> How about we settle this the old-fashioned way? Dance off! Ugh, those feel played out. I was thinking, a fight off. It's like a dance off, but with this. Oh, I, I don't think that. <laughs> Gigi, stop! No crown, no home! What? Can I at least get my jade roller and $10,000 for emergencies? <laughs> Bet you would. Velma! Ow! That's my actual mustache, Fred. I just didn't shave it. Velma? Uh, no? Uh, yes. 
I've dreamt of those calloused longshoremen's hands touching my face for weeks, so as soon as she slapped me, I knew. Everyone, I just learned that Manny is actually Velma Dinkley in disguise and ineligible to be Fog King. Oh, oh my God! Now, look, if we're being honest, just like everything else these days, the serial killer is whatever you need it to be to feel your best. Uh, I'm the dance floor now. Uh, that belongs to me. It belongs to the people. We are a constitutional fogarchy, damn it. Huh? Possible. Oh, God, you're right. My entire perception of reality is crumbling. Wait, no, it's just a ride. Oh. Now come back here. <laughs> oh, damn, girl, how'd you get all that ass in those little slacks? <laughs> oh, where, where am I? Hey, let me out. My parents will never pay ransom. They thanked the North Koreans when they kidnapped my brother. Brenda? But I was at your funeral. I got so wasted. No boys were sloshing your goo over. <sighs> I'd actually say it is perfect, because I just learned the hottest part of a woman is her brain. Oh, did you? Yes, Brenda. Or should I call you Brenda? <laughs> <laughs> Why am I such an idiot? I'll never make it as a brain. My parents always say it's my worst attribute. We're at the moment, but we really need to go. Fred's alive! Gone forever! Gone forever? Oh, sorry. Can we try that again? Any movement will upset the garbage bees. My only hope is to be accepted as their queen. Ah! <laughs> oh no! Fred! What happened? Don't tell me your father's kinks are genetic. I don't think I can do this anymore, you guys. That is a very good idea, Daphne. I wish Fred were a little more like you. You mean poor? Gross. I love their love. Oh, it worked! We're officially popular again. Oh, I can't ever repay you, so I won't. I'm just saying, if white people are now the minorities on campus... Daphne, I think I'm capable of running the family business. But she's wrong! Look how good I paint the company logo! Your company logo is an asterisk? Oh, to indicate a troubling footnote about child labor. It's not an asterisk, it's a flower. I painted those ones better. Wait, Fred, you bought this van? That's actually not a bad idea. Ah, wrong, it is a good idea. I can run the family business. Oh wait, you just agreed with me. Sorry, I'm, I'm just sensitive from always being wrong about everything. Well, then I have good news, cause I'm taking you to the one place no one will ever doubt you. But would you arrest her if someone like me said someone like her was bothering him? Well, yeah, that would do it. Ah, get them off! Get them off! Oh, well, wait, no, keep them on. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? So it is the ghost of Dr. Edna Perdue. I knew it! Don't be an idiot, Fred. Place my brain? Well, hold up, am I not your special number one little guy? Wait, our family was also poor? Oh, can this day get any worse? Finding Dr. Purdue's journals. Would truly appreciate the advantages of being a handsome, rich, white man. Uh, advantages? You think we like being president of the United States 97% of the time? The job sucks. You know what, Victoria? You're right. I am so in. What? Velma, Fred will die. And worse, be embarrassed. Exactly. I am so sick of rich guys like you not only not realizing how much is handed to them, but still thinking they're the victims when they mess everything up because of their lazy entitlement and fragile egos. My ego is not fragile! Yes! Rage, Fred! Rage with the anger of a dad who just bumped his head and break your restraints! No! What are you doing? Stop! Fred, your mom is getting away! You did this! No, Fred! I only said those things to rile you up. I mean, yes, I 
feel that way, but- No, I'm glad you said it, Velma. Only friends tell each other the truth, and I'm proud to call you a friend. Thank you, next bitch! Hello, mother. Freddy, I'm sorry, but I, um, I have an excuse. A good one. Really? Victoria? How? It's not Victoria. Mother never could have wanted to swap my brain. She told me she's been possessed by the ghost of Dr. Edna Perdue. It made so much sense when she told me I accidentally dropped the gun and, well, yeah, here we are. Mother? Ghost of Dr. Perdue? Hello? Yes. Amazing! Like, best day ever! I solved the case! Happy dance! It's true. I solved the case for good. I swear you would be of more use to me if I skinned you and turned your skin into a lampshade. Or fashioned you into a piece of high-end luggage. I can even add you to my collection. Are you saying that you have a collection of skin luggage? Of course I'm not, Dee. Don't be ridiculous. Think of the smell. You haven't thought of the smell, you bitch! Now you say another word and I swear to God I will dice you into a million little pieces. And put those pieces in a box. A glass box. That I will display on my mantle. All right, now that that's settled, we can have a normal conversation.